Hey Aquarius, this is Ascension Empress with your July 2019 tarot reading. Thank you for visiting my channel and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I pray that you all are doing well and that this year, this month, and these eclipses have been treating you well. Um, don't forget to make your six-month intention. I get a lot of love around you guys' energy, a lot of partnership, um, especially for Aquarius Rising. There's a lot of energy around your seventh house and your first house as well. And I did you all's reading and it cut off and so I recorded the second part and I accidentally deleted it. It was such a beautiful, beautiful, amazing reading. Basically, someone is coming towards you, um, offering you a cup of love or you may be offering someone else a cup of love. They want long term, they want commitment and the emperor and the empress popped out, y'all. <sighs> I had to breathe before I started this video because I was so disappointed that I accidentally deleted the first part of it. <sighs> I couldn't even go back and retrieve it. It's crazy, but yes. Let me know how this resonates with you and how things are planning out, um, panning out if you feel comfortable sharing. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We are in retrograde season, so it is a time for a lot of people to be coming back, um, wanting to rekindle things, wanting to reconcile. And um, with the energy I got in the last reading, it's more so that you have all of these options coming towards you, and there are people who want to come back, but you are very set on not going back to past mistakes, past cycles. Um, I get that a lot of you have been clearing out your karmic debt, so... You're like, no, I need something new. I need something sustaining, long-term, consistent. And that is definitely coming towards you. So this is a general reading. Just take what resonates with you. I'll be using the Right Away Tarot deck for this reading. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Aquarius, or whatever, whatever placement you have. Whatever resonates with you. Wow. <laughs> so there is a reason I had to do your reading again. This is beautiful. The star card. You're the first card. You pop out in your own reading in the Ace of Wands. I'm getting that a lot of you are going to be taking action on your dreams. And this is a creative idea that you may have. Uh, whatever it is you're doing, it's pouring into you. And it's also pouring into humanity as a whole. Because when Aquarius pours into themselves, take care of themselves, um, everyone around them benefits. And a lot of people want to talk about how Aquarius has this detachment, you know, this nonchalant, detached energy. But it's not that. It's that I'm an Aquarius moon. So it's like we kind of have to recharge ourselves and then go from there. With this Ace of Wands... Like I mentioned with Pisces, you may be, yeah, you may be sparking something. Um, in order to ease your anxiety about a about the visions that you're having, I'm I get a lot of Pisces energy around Aquarius as well. That is the next sign, but we'll see. Especially with these placements in leo right now we have mars and leo's opposing aquarius mercury just slipped back into cancer will be going back into leo um opposing aquarius as well so you may be just trying to balance out this energy this opposition where you can still implement all that you wanted to do all these things that you have been wanting to embrace and show to the world unconventionally that way when this I believe the full moon, yes, the full moon in Aquarius comes, it's time to take center stage. Wow. <laughs> so going into the past, we have the King of Swords, the Empress, and the Five of Wands. So I get going into the past, a lot of you had to cut out um, fighting, arguments, petty competition as it pertains to a mother figure or your creativity. I'm getting creativity strongly. Um, with this King of Swords, you may have had to be very straightforward and direct about these 
with your what you're about to birth and maybe so more so with yourself more so than others because with them having this energy around you i don't get that you are really entertaining it you're really just trying to heal on a soul level I'm glad to see the Empress popped out again. But in that last reading, y'all, the Empress and the Emperor popped out together. <laughs> together. And it was underlying the reading. Wow. This has been popping up, too. So going forward, we have the Justice card. Like I said, things are going to be made balanced fair. You may be um, dealing with a Libra or a court system. You may be, like finalizing legal documents when it comes to this creative idea that you have. I'm also hearing your deeds in the past, all the all the seeds that you've planted is coming into fruition and you are going to be compensated um, more so on, on an energetic level. You know, the money will follow. The money will follow when your energy is right and when you're in a state of gratitude as well. Take it. So underlying the reading, wow. We have the Nine of Cups, the High Priestess, the Ace of Swords, and the Death card. Talk about transformation. And I believe I said that in your last monthly, like you are transforming in front of everyone's eyes. This this Leo energy, especially this Capricorn energy, I mean, with Saturn, Pluto being in Capricorn, this full moon in Capricorn just passed yesterday. Today is the 17th. And I mean, on a soul level, intuitively, you all are very clear. With this Nine of Cups, there is a level, I just said, you... You The money won't follow until you're in a state of gratitude. And I'm getting this month you are in a state of gratitude, hence why you are able to embody this energy. Like you popped out in your own reading at the first pull. <laughs> and then we have the high priestess here. So it's just like, you know, you're aware that you have this this knowledge within. And now you're finally embracing it. You may be speaking that truth. And the fact that you have the ace of wands and the ace of swords is talks about clarity, talks about passion, talks about energy. And then you have the death card here. So I, I get that a lot of Aquarius are clear that they're embarking on a transformation. And this is a, this is, I don't know how to describe it. It's a transformation that's ongoing. This is not just a one-time thing. And I'm getting that it's like your your skin just keeps peeling back. Your skin, like, like a snake, you're just being renewed and renewed. I almost get this phoenix-like energy with Aquarius as well. Um, squaring Scorpio, you may be um, learning a lot of lessons as it pertains to your sexuality, um, especially with this Ace of Wands here. And you may be really loving on yourself at this point. Taking care of yourself, your health, especially with this new moon solar eclipse and cancer that just passed at the beginning of the month. Um, we're really being guided to move towards this north node and cancer energy of feeding our soul, feeding ourselves um, on a spiritual level. And letting go of this conflict and also conflicts as it pertains to the love we wish we'd have gotten from our mother. With this Empress card. Wow. Then we have the Page of Swords. So yeah, Aquarius is definitely ready to take action. Already taking action for a lot of you. Um, more so behind the scenes. I'm getting that a lot of you know that it's about to be time to step onto the scene. Um, and I mean, it, it's a time to embrace ourselves so that in turn we're embracing humanity there's a level between um humility and arrogance and right here with this nine of cups if this high priestess is ace of swords and this death wasn't here i would question whether there was a level of humility but that is exactly what i get that's the energy i've been was getting with the reading i tried to do before this one and also the fact that this star and this ace of wands just popped out uh, in 
you all could very well be getting married or thinking about married with this justice card because i believe the justice actually was the last card to pop out in this position and when the empress and the emperor pop out and i was like say less y'all going to court straight to the courthouse <laughs> wow we have the page of cups clarifying the page of swords so it's interesting you have two pages overlying the reading i say overlaying overlying you know look <laughs> And this could be you ready to take action. Someone may be wanting to offer you some kind of emotional support as you embark on this healing journey. Um, this artistic, it's a beautiful, beautiful, multifaceted process that Aquarius is going through right now. And you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, because I mentioned that there's a lot of Pisces energy to you. More so the energy of going against the grain and other people around you not really understanding you but Aquarius is really good at not caring um hence why they are Aquarius they know that they have a mission to fulfill for um humanity as a whole um they are a messenger well I just looked at the time and it said 11 11 on the timer for this video <laughs> and it's just it's a it's a beautiful type of energy. It's it's a necessary hold back that Aquarius has to do every now and then. So when they pull back, you know, don't really question them, don't really bother them, especially because Mercury is retrograde at this time, and you know, communication can be a little, you know, <laughs> a little unclear. Wow. Clarifying the justice, we have the full card. So, yeah, moving forward, you are going to have a lot of faith in a... I'm getting a connection, um, a partnership, reciprocity. Uh, you not really feeling like you're taking a foolish risk because you are able to see how things balance, how balanced things are, mainly because you cut out what doesn't serve you with this King of Swords and this Five of Wands here. Um I'm also getting that there may be a mother figure or someone who is very nurturing, caring, um, very creative, who is in between or was in between um, a lot of conflict, a lot of um, societal norms. And it's like this Empress card. I'm getting that a lot of Aquarius is this Empress and you had to hop up out of from between this. <laughs> And you're like, okay, let me hop up out of here. This is not serving me. Um, it's not serving my highest good on a soul level at all. And then you hop over here into this star ace of wands energy of wish fulfillment and creativity, passion, all of that. <laughs> wow. Moving forward, it's cancer season two. And you clarifying the star and the ace of wands, you're moving forward with this chariot card. I mean, th this is beautiful. I'm so happy that this reading was just as powerful as well because to have this death card here with all of these other cards at the bottom, this high priestess, y'all are a high, pri high priestess mode. <laughs> like, you guys have... A wide array of knowledge that a lot of people probably don't even know especially when you were sitting amongst this animosity and um, low vibrational energy it's just like people don't even realize that the, all, they're causing all this ruckus amongst an empress <laughs> amongst an empress y'all mm -hmm. And also clarifying the fool, we have the page of pentacles. So when I said, when you're in a state of gratitude, the money's going to follow. And I get that this action that you're taking is a steady, practical approach. You may be moving like an earth sign or keeping in mind of this earth energy um, that is very transformational and long lasting with Saturn and Pluto. And thinking about six months from now, come 2020 Capricorn season, it is going to be one heck of a season, y'all. Yeah, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. So right now, you're keeping your thoughts, your ideas, your visions, your money um, close to your chest, but still taking action behind the scene, um, moving forward as well. You can move forward behind the scenes, and then you're going to be stepping forward on the scene very soon. So that is your reading, Aquarius, and I thank you all. I'll see you guys soon.